We need to try to win this game for to win the finals. We need one more point for to be sure there. And uh, the next step is to try to to be in the ladder in, in the in the top uh, in the top in the, the most high possible uh, that we can and to win at home in front of our fans that they support us during all the season is very important and uh, the team and the players will work very hard for to try to win this game and to try to to share this with the with the our fans and in the end to win the final that is very important for us. No, no, before no, because uh, when I was coaching in Hong Kong, uh, uh, normally two teams, two, three teams are in the top and the other teams uh, are more far away, not, not so close. But this is nice because it's an equal league and, and this makes that the fans enjoy more and every single game is interesting and this is nice. Yeah, uh, haven't lost a game, or the last eight games at home, you haven't lost one of them. How much confidence does that give you knowing that you have a home game this week? Honestly, we see game by game. Uh, you can win, you can dribble, you can lose against any team. Melbourne Hart is in a good moment. Melbourne Hart is doing very well. Uh, I think that uh, uh, they are playing a good football and on Friday it will be easy. And uh, what I want is that everybody have uh, high concentration in this game because it's so important and of course we are confident in to win because we want to win and we want to do the right things but it don't, don't will be easy. I don't want that the players or the people think that this game is easy because Melbourne Hart cannot get the, the finals because in the end the last games they are playing very well and also they are, so, they are unlucky because the last game that I saw they have a lot of chance for to score, chance for to win, and in the end they lose. And uh, I, I, I am afraid for this game because I want uh, to do the best for the club and for the team. And uh, I want that my players have this feeling also. If you have this feeling, you work more hard and, and you can be more concentrated. If you think that is easy, sometimes you can lose the concentration, and this is what I don't want that happen with us. It's nearly perfect, I think, setting up for you. If you win on Friday, you go second. Like Victory, Mariners and Wanderers all have games tonight and tomorrow, so they might be a bit of fatigue. So you need to take advantage maybe of their commitments. Do you think it's going to line up? Is it, do you think it's perfect the way season sort of... It's good. Uh, in the end, the most important is that we win. Uh, sometimes uh, the people start to think if they lose and then... They the most important is that you win your game. If you win your game, after you are in a good position. And this is my job, I want to be concentrated in this. Of course, if they play in midweek and after playing the weekend, it's difficult for them. But uh, both teams, uh, Melbourne Victory and, uh, and uh, Wanderers have a, a, a big uh, number of players in his teams. And uh, Central Coast now is an little bit advantage because they have two points more than us. Uh, of course, that is more difficult than just play once a game, but also we play on Sunday, we travel, we play on Friday. Uh, first, I want to be concentrated in us, and if we win, after the other things, is his, his staff, like you say here in, in Adelaide. I want the uh, first us, think in us, play good, try to win, and after we will see. How's Thirio going? Do you think he'll be alright to play? Thirio? Yes, I think that I have confidence that he can play. Today he's training with uh, the group that don't play, and now I check with him, and he, is, uh, he told me that he feels good, and I think that he has a chance for to start. And what about Geronimo? Geronimo also. He told me that uh, he's uh, in a good confidence, we need to, to check tomorrow, but I think that both can be in the list, and maybe both are ready for to start if we need. Just the good work that you're doing from the start to now has been noticed now. And uh, obviously you've got another year to go with your contract here. Do you expect him to stay on? I mean, where, where do you sit with what you want to do personally in the future? Yes, I am so happy here. I, I am working very, very hard. I am working uh, close with my teammates at uh, the football department. I am enjoying a lot. Uh, this is for me is very important. I have one more year contract. I think that now is not the moment for to speak about uh, extensions or these things because now the most important is these two games that the, the league plus the finals and after that uh, if the club want to speak with me and we speak a little bit but uh, now I want to be concentrated in the games but I am happy in Adelaide I think that they are happy with me 
and when both parts are happy, it's, it's easy to arrive to an, an agreement. Does it make you pleased that a lot of people are actually taking notice of what you're doing here with, with the style? Yeah, I think that uh, it's a different style, that uh, before maybe the teams don't play here in Australia, and this makes that uh, it's different. And something different in one place is something that that uh, make attraction to, to the people and, and they think what they are doing. But uh, in the end, it's, this is my job and I want to be concentrated in this. And the most important, these two games, plus if we go to the finals, and now uh, I don't want to lose any moment thinking in extensions or thinking in, in another thing. I want to, to work with my teammates, with my players, and, and to do the right things for to try to be in the best position that we can when we finish the season. I think if uh, you win a spot in the Champions League next year, that's a success. That's a gauge for success as well. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, we we are saying it's difficult to understand, not? But for me, the, the I want three three objectives every season. The first one is to try to play the best football that we can, and this is that we play good football. We have a style, and we keep this style. The second thing is to try to build players from the youth team with this style and that every season players come from the youth and play with the first team. And after the players that are here, if they are very good for to go to another step or to Europe, we can shell. This is a good step. Now this season, for example, go in Quito, uh, Constant, that uh, start on Sunday, and also uh, the, the striker, uh, Costa, Quito and Constant, these this three. Uh, shoot Australian players, this is our job. And the third one, and this is very important for me, is that the people, when the people come to the stadium, that they enjoy. They uh, need to be like uh, when somebody pay for to see something, need to go to his homes after and, and enjoy. If, if the people come to the stadium and after they come back to his home and they don't enjoy, it's difficult that they come back. What they want is that uh, they come, they understand what we are doing, and they enjoy, and they see good football, and. It's difficult, but don't see the score. That, that enjoy watching the, the this brand of football, like uh, the people of Arsenal or, or Barcelona. They go for to see this. Barcelona maybe is winning, but if they, they don't play the style, the people don't enjoy. The same. But the people when come to see us, I, I go there and I enjoy. This football is what I want to see. This is the, the three objectives that I have, and I, I think that the, the objectives that the, the club also have. And with this, and after we are in the top, we can win. It's perfect. If we are in the final, it's perfect. If in one year we cannot, but just keep keep working like this. Yes, sir. Um, I, yes, sir, we're talking about you know, other people taking notice of the success you're having here at Adelaide. Have you been getting feedback from other clubs when you're No, to no, really. I know that today in, in the newspaper there are a new that, uh, that this. Today is 1st of April. Maybe it's the day that we can shot. No, but uh, really no. No, I don't have any contact with any club. Uh, I know what the, the fans uh, are saying. And that uh, two weeks ago or three weeks, I went to see a game in Sydney, and when I leave the stadium, a lot of fans start to clap and say, "Joseph, very good football." And this for me is a satisfaction because it's something that the people really appreciate. But in terms of uh, any club that contact with me and ask to me, uh, any club contact with me, and uh, I am 100 concentrated here, and I am so happy here, and it's something that no. But not any, like even other coaches that might just say, oh, you know, what's your secret or anything like that. No, every coach have his his style, and every coach have his uh, his uh, his uh, style, and and not. I think that uh, this is our style, and, and just this, no. Yeah, for me too, it's uh, the first time. We are very close and we arrived to the, the last two games with chance. And like Joseph say, it's, uh, it's very good. It's, it's better like this because everybody goes to the stadium to see us and expect that we arrive to the finals. And it's very good because we have this pressure for to play and, and work more hard. Can we, can we expect the same performance? Week as last weekend? I don't know about which which comments. Oh, scoring, scoring goal. Do you reckon you know, you 
weekend? Sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Your performance last weekend, do you think you could play just as good this week? <laughs> I don't know. I hope. I try to to train hard every week for play, for play good, for help to to the team. And I hope next week will be better than the last week. I I, I work for that. That penalty. Um, it takes somebody with courage to do it. Did you think as soon as you grabbed the ball that you were gonna do the panenka, or what, what went through your head? Yeah, yeah. I think. I think before, before the game, and after doing the game, I, when I, I took the ball, I, I think many, I think many things, but I did the, the, took the decision, I made the decision that, that shoot like this, and it was good because I helped the, the team for, for win, and this is the most important. Did you make a decision before the game? Before before the game, I I saw, but after during the during the the game, I I did the decision there. About next weekend, you know, Friday, if you get a penalty, what's, what's I cannot I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you because maybe the keeper is is listening. <laughs> Was that the first time you've scored like that? Like that, yeah, the first time. Yeah, Did many. You? Yeah, yeah, it's the first time. Yeah, I scored many goals from penalty, but never like this. You practice this one? Yeah, yeah, I practice many times with with Iso, with Galekovic. The keeper is don't like much. This this kind of, of shot, but yeah, working. Obviously, uh, Melbourne are. I think they they I mean they they are a good team, but really they're out of the finals race, and I don't think they're going to come here and line down. They've still got a few good players. Yeah. Who can actually play good football. You haven't beaten them, I don't think, this season yet. Yeah, of course. They they are a very good team. They have very good players, and of course they come to to here to to win. And they play like like a final, and go, going to be another final like we are playing. We playing in Wellington, and it's like this. We, we focus for this this game and try to to do the best and win in this and play the style. It's the most important. Enough.